Hello, my name is Daniel Broadway, and today I'd like to show you a new product we've been developing called Spill Slayer. It is a spill suppression plugin for Adobe After Effects. It is 32 bit compatible, and it is for Windows and Mac. Spill Slayer is also fully supported in Adobe After Effects CS55, CS6, and Creative Cloud. It was developed because over the past few years as I've worked on production shots, I found myself wanting a little more control and a little better tool set for dealing with spill as I worked on some green or blue screen shots. As we built this plugin, we've tried our best to keep it a simple interface that is easy enough to use for uh, any casual user, but also offers you sophisticated controls if you feel like you need that level of precision. So with that said, let me show you what this thing can do. Now, you may recognize this shot. It was generously provided by Hollywood camera work and what we're going to do is take a look at it here and if you'll notice uh, on this shot there is a significant amount of spill in her jacket. It's a white jacket on a green screen which is pretty much worst case scenario for spill. Um, although you can't see in the shot the floor was actually also green which is why you're getting such a intense spill here but that's really not a problem with Spill Slayer. You can simply take it, drag it on and instantly it will remove that spill. Notice also as I toggle here it only removes the spill color. Every other color such as her skin tones and everything else stays perfectly fine. And that's the great thing about Spill Slayer is it doesn't use a hue range which can sometimes attack other surrounding colors unintentionally. It uses very sophisticated algorithms to find green or blue as the case may be. Um, if you look up here at Spill Color you could of course if you had a blue screen you could switch it to blue um, but in the case we want green obviously. Uh, as I said, you have different algorithms that you can choose from, and I'm not going to really go over those here, but you can look in the documentation for a more detailed explanation of these settings. As you just saw, in many cases, you can just drag Spill Slayer right onto your footage and it'll spill suppress it immediately with no further uh, tweaking necessary. That's why we think it'll be very beneficial to casual users who just maybe be keying for um, small projects or interview setups, that type of thing. However, we also developed this with advanced users in mind and we have some sections ahead in this video to show the more sophisticated tweaking abilities of Spill Slayer. Okay, for this next part I want to show how Slayer can be a very nice companion for Keylight as well. Now, Keylight itself has some very sophisticated spill algorithms, but sometimes you need a little help with it. So if we look at this shot, I've gone ahead and keyed it, and I've also had Keylight by default spill suppress, so if we look at immediate result. This is our spill, of course the key light suppresses it and it looks pretty good. However, if you really look, you're going to notice there's a little bit of green tinting still around the edges of the hair uh, from the bounce light of the green screen. And if we wanted to get rid of that, we'd have to use the despill bias. And you could do that, you could take the picker and try to pick an unspilled part of the hair color. Um, but now it's going to look kind of a nasty, unnatural. Uh, red, like an over red almost to the whole shot. And you could come in here, you could try to play with the color picker and try to get a nice balance, but just you're going to start to affect other areas um, because this method is not quite precise. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's uh, put these back to their default grades. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to show how um, Spill Slayer can help you here. So let's attach Spill Slayer. And immediately you're going to notice that nothing happened. Um, and that's because Slayer has just been added as its default. You'll notice that under the algorithm drop down, there is a slider called Bias. At 50%, it limits the maximum green value to the average of red and blue. Bias allows you to add bias towards the red or blue channels, therefore, allowing perfect targeting of spill areas. And in this shot, I'm going to go ahead and take a snap before, and I'm going to increase the bias. And I'm probably going to leave it around, let's say, let's say 70. And if you take a look, all that green tinting on the hair is now a very more natural brown hair color. And I'm going to toggle back to just key light. And the difference is subtle, but it's enough to see that Spill Slayer just offers a little bit more control, a little bit of a finer tweak ability. Um, and of course, you could continue this bias up a little higher, but again, we're going to get back to that unnatural red. So a value of about 70 on this shot is about perfect. And again, toggled, you can see the difference. 
Now I'd like to show you why Spill Slayer is such a great companion to third party keyers such as Primat. So let's go ahead and key the shot of Primat. And I'm not going to give a tutorial on how to use Primat, but you can look that up and uh, there's plenty of resources that show that. So I'm just going to do a quick key here. So I've keyed, I've keyed out the background, cleaned up the background. And if we go back to our comp view, we'll see that it's keyed her skin tones a little too much because there is a lot of spill under this arm and in these areas that look very purple now. So what we can do is we can clean the foreground real quick. So we just grab those areas. And now we've got uh, our matte integrity back. So now our matte is pretty opaque in those areas and pretty solid, except for let's clean that up. Okay. So as you can see, our matte is now pretty good. We've got the hard white in the foreground. We may need to clean that up a bit. And here, again, these problem areas are caused by excessive spill and key light is trying to key them out instead of keeping them. But with this cleanup tool, we can tell Primat to keep them. But if we go back to comp view, we now have a lot of green spill uh, on her skin. And that was because she is standing on a reflective green floor which is bouncing light up like this. Now, there are a couple of tools in Primat itself that can clean spill, and one of them is called Spill Sponge. So if we take that and we say, get rid of um, this area of spill. Well, it'll do its best attempt, but as you see, the, the fall off is pretty harsh and it's turning her skin this kind of ugly magenta brown. It's just really not doing a very solid job at all. In fact, as you saw there, I clicked one click and it just blew the whole works there. So let's go back. Okay, so Spill Sponge, in my opinion, is not a very good tool. Um, so let's go down to Spill Killer. Now this one's a little better. So let's enable that and change it to green. Now immediately you'll see it kills some of that spill, like such as the really intense part on her arm, but even some of the subtle green hues especially on her face. Uh, there's still a lot of green in her face. And of course we can, we can tweak the range and as you see that'll get most of it but at the same time it's also really heavily changing her skin tone and you can get a good look you know but it's not very precise as far as a, using hue sliders to target spill. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off too and just show how Spill Slayer will deal with this. So after you've keyed with Primat just type in Spill Slayer, and a simple drag and drop will take care of that spill immediately. And there you go. No tweaking sliders, no uh, adjusting hue ranges, just a perfect suppression after a drag and drop. The feature I'm going to show you now is what I feel really sets Spill Slayer apart from other keyers and suppressors and really made us excited. So. I've keyed this shot that you saw earlier. Um, I have not spill suppressed it, however, only keyed. And if we drag Spill Slayer on it like we did before, you'll notice it knocks that spill down really well. However, in this particular instance, that jacket against the sky, it just looks kind of dark and muddy, um, even though the spill algorithm did exactly what it should. And what we've done is we've added a level of control that can help you finesse the spill and make it blend with the background. And that's called Enable Color Replace. And if we click this checkbox, by default it's going to add red. And of course we don't want that, that looks terrible. So what we'll do is we'll take the color picker here and click this, say, right here. And if you notice, it has now added blue wherever there was green spill previously, but has remained unaffected against, say, skin tones and other such colors or lips. It is only affecting the spilled areas as you can see and just toggling here you can see how like much nicer it looks against the sky it's just a world of difference and so much more natural looking so we think this is a really great feature and we think you're gonna to find tons and tons of uses like this for it another cool feature of spill slayer I want to show you is we can also use the enable color replace to help our green screen before we key the shot so as you'll look at this green screen provided by Tears of Steel, you will notice that the green screen is very nicely lit. It's even, it's a little dark and a little desaturated, but Spill Slayer can help us with that. A lot of times we'll get a green screen shot that maybe has the wrong hue of green, a little too dark, or maybe not enough saturation. 
and Spill Slayer can help with all those cases. So let's drag Spill Slayer on. And remember, this would be before a keying operation, not after. And we're going to enable color replace. Of course, red is the default. We don't want that. We want to change this to a pure green. So 255 green. Hit OK. Now, at this point, it's just going to look like our original plate. No difference. But if we take the suppression slider and put it at zero, watch the green screen pop. Wow. We've got a lot better separation there. And what I want to show you, especially about the separation, is let's turn Slayer off. Let's go look at the green separation here. So if you look at his hair, there is some separation there, especially on this edge. This looks pretty good. But right here, it's kind of hard to see the edge of the hair exactly. But when we turn Spill Slayer back on with our Enable Color Replace, look how much detail is brought out by the algorithm. And then if you go to add key light after this, you're going to get a lot more fine hair detail. So Spill Slayer can be used before and after a keying operation to really make your shot look great. The next feature I want to show you in Spill Slayer is also one of its most powerful. This is called Spill Map. I'm going to show you how that works. So we've taken this shot that we've looked at before, and I've put it on a rainbow background for a very specific reason to demonstrate how this works. And much like the replace color, we're going to replace the spill color with the background colors, except instead of doing a single color, we're going to actually replace it with the gradient of the rainbow. It's a little more complex, but you'll still get the idea here. So let's go to Slayer. Let's drag it on her layer. And as before, of course, it despills her perfectly. Now, just to make this a little easier to follow, I'm going to rename these layers and color code them. So we're going to call this background rainbow. We're going to call this foreground element despilled. And then I'm going to color code these to say red. Now what you want to do is grab the background and the foreground, hit control D to duplicate, drag them to the top. Let's recolor code these. Let's say blue. We're going to call this Spill Replace Background and we're going to call this Spill Map. Now just for the moment let's turn all the layers off except for the top one. This is now just our despilled foreground. Under suppression mode here you'll see there's two options. Suppression only which means it's just going to suppress the green or whatever key color you have and there's suppression plus Spill Map Alpha. So we're going to click that now, our shot got really dark here, and that's because we now have a spill map in the alpha channel, which is keying out our shot slightly. And this is the spill map. And what the spill map is, it is a grayscale representation of anywhere on the shot that green spill existed previously before the despill operation. So what we can do with that is use it as an alpha mat on any background, such as our rainbow here. Oh, excuse me. Let me turn to RGB. Such as our rainbow. So let's turn on our spill map. There it is. Let's take the track mat and set it to alpha map using the spill map. And now you're going to see that anywhere there was green spill previously is now replaced with the color from our background. And if we turn the foreground and background back on, you'll see exactly why that is so useful. If I toggle the background colors on and off, you will see how it just integrates really nicely in that background. And of course, if this was like a real background, you would probably blur the spill replace background colors a little bit, maybe 25 to 30, 40 pixels, uh, just to make that feel a little more natural. But as you can see, this spill map is a very powerful integration tool for integrating an element with its background. So now that you've seen what the spill map can do, I wanted to show you a more practical example of how to use one. As you can see, uh, again, I've brought this shot back in to show you what it looks like with the spill. Notice especially the green spill on her jacket. And what we want to do this time is replace that spill. Uh, we're going to use the spill map to replace that area with uh, some of our background plate elements. And in this case, what you're going to see is behind her I'm going to have an explosion of uh, propane type fire. And in these areas here where there was spill that has now been suppressed, you're going to see uh, it's going to light up orange as the fire in the background goes by. As you can see there, the areas on her jacket become bright orange as the fire goes by. And what we've done is we have taken some 
uh, footage of that fire, I've blurred it very heavily, about 500 pixels, and tinted it orange. And then we've used the spill map to composite that back over her, and it looks like a very natural lighting up of her jacket from the fire. It's a, it's a very interactive type look that very uh, well integrates her with the background. So that is another example of how a spill map can help you there. Again, this is Daniel Broadway, and thank you very much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this Spill Slayer tech demo. We feel this plugin will be a welcome addition to your After Effects tool set, so check it out.